Ohio alluded to this newly approved agent for the treatment of pancreas cancer, MM398. George, can you tell us a little bit about what in the world is this thing and, and what's the data that we saw and where do we go? I'll, I'll try, it's a little confusing, but <laughs> it's basically a nanoparticle liposomal arena TCAM. Okay, so 80,000 particles of the drug are in these liposomes. And the belief is that there's longer circulation, more favorable pharmacokinetics, and the drug then lodges into leaky vessels around the tumor and then accesses the tumor, and that's how you get more activity. So that's the biology behind Onnavide, is the name of the drug, MM398. Um, the study uh, that evaluated uh, the, the drug is the Napoli study. It wasn't, had nothing to do with Italy. It was done over in Taiwan <laughs> and in the U.S. <laughs> Um, but it was a little bit confusing. It started off as a monotherapy on a vide arm and then a 5-FU control arm from Conco 3. Right. And so that's how the study started off. Uh, along the way, they got information back, safety data from a colorectal phase one trial saying that you can combine it in a full theory type regimen. So at the end of the day, there were two stepwise uh, comparisons, the monotherapy 5-FU and then the full theory asterisk uh, regimen versus the uh, 5-FU, and at the end of the day, the result was that the combination, this new full fury regimen, was superior to 5-FU. There was a benefit of about two months. So that's where we are. It's been approved in uh, late October of 2015 for second-line therapy for patients that uh, are refractory to gemcitabine. So that really keeps it wide open. Um, you only have to be treated with gemcitabine. So, for example, there were some locally advanced uh, early stage patients in the trial. So, for example, if they develop metastatic disease after resection or adjuvant treatment, technically they're uh, available to get on divide in this uh, 5-FU on divide regimen, MM398 regimen. Um, there were patients also treated with, gems, uh, with abraxane in that trial. There were a lot of uh, MPAC, abraxane gemcitabine patients that went in directly into this trial. And so it'll be interesting to see what their outcomes are. But I think uh, Dr. Moshe Lima said earlier, we're starting to have to think about sequencing. Right. And so that's, this is pancreatic cancer, folks. Right. I mean, we didn't think about that sort of thing for a long time, but now we've gotta be a little smarter and think about sequencing as we start off. So uh, very interesting drug. It's great that we have a new treatment in pancreatic cancer, um, and that's what's available. Good problem to have, huh? Yeah. 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 So, Kayo, you've used MM398. What's, what's been your thought? Have you used it? Where do you think it's going to fall? So, first of all, um, you know, nice setup from, from George, but the Napoli trial showed as well that uh, single agent MM398 was not superior to 5FU leucovorin. So, it's not a single agent uh, drug for second line in pancreatic cancer. It's to be combined with, uh, with 5FU. But, um, you know, um, the data you know, it's telling us that uh, it is a still um, adenotechin mm -hmm. to some extent. You, ha you have GI toxicity as the main toxicity. Uh, grade three diarrhea is le was less frequent than what has been reported with uh, uh, the non-nanoparticle -nan form of adenotechin. Having said that, grade one diarrhea is still significant. It's up to four bowel movements a day. Grade two is, uh, you know, five, six bowel movements a day. And grade three is over six, you know, uh, episodes of diarrhea a day. So even grade one and grade two can impact uh, one's quality of life and that the incidence of that is significant even with the nanoparticle uh, form of, uh, of animal chicken. Myelosuppression is just something to take into account. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we're talking about second line treatment, but you know, um, few patients may need to receive growth factor support uh, if they uh, suffer from neutropenia. And we may have some drug delays due to thrombocytopenia as well.